ऑटो रिफिलिंग ऑटो फीडिंग 21 वन पॉड्स थर्टी सिक्स वोल्टेज लाइट्स बिल्ट इन वाई फाई एडजस्टेबल ब्राइटनेस ओ माई गुडनेस हाई फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर ओनिंग सो मेनी एरो गार्डन्स एंड सेवरल हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम्स आई हैव बीन इन डेलमा वेदर आई शुड कंटिन्यू एक्सप्लोरिंग एनी अदर सिस्टम्स और नॉट वन ऑफ द सिस्टम्स दैट इज कैचिंग माई आईज फॉर अ वाइल इज दिस लेटपॉट मैक्स I even saw a few comments on my videos mentioning this system. So, it is finally here. Let's see how it looks like, what are all the accessories it came with, what it is capable of, and eventually how it performs. First things first, a user manual and a user guide about plant food. Now comes the system. looks very nice with the combination of stainless steel and a black finishing here is the grow deck it supports 21 pods even though it supports 21 pods it is not practically possible to use all the pods for all plant varieties the holes are pretty close to each other so it really depends on what we grow If we are growing herbs like cilantro, fenugreek, etc., we can use all the pods. But if we grow, for example, lettuce, we must space out properly. Otherwise, the plants get overcrowded and the light won't be distributed properly. Anyways, I am going to experiment and figure out how and what works best. then the pod baskets and the domes to cover the pods to retain moisture and help with germination then a pack of sponges then the plant nutrition this is two pot dry nutrition we must fill these bottles with water dissolve the solids and use the solution as needed then there is a small water pipe for auto refilling i will show you the usage of this in a bit then the power adapter finally the bowl light panel is connected to the bowl and it is detachable this bowl has three pumps in it first pump is to circulate the water inside the bowl The second pump is in this nutrition storage area to dispense the nutrition every time when the water refill kicked in. Third pump is here to auto refill the water. Here is the water sensor that goes up and down based on the water level. And here is a control panel with touch buttons and a screen. Now I am turning on the device so that I can connect it to the app. When I turn it on, it gave a long beep for 5 seconds or so and that's normal. Now let's connect the device to the Wi-Fi and add it in the app. There is already a LED pod device showing up in the app. This is my 12 pod LED pod I bought a few months back. Now let's connect LED pod max. Click the add button. Now it is searching for the devices. All right. Now I see my new system. Tap it to start the connection process. Once the initialization is complete, it is asking me to choose Wi-Fi. All right. I selected my Wi-Fi and entered the Wi-Fi password. Now it is connecting the device to the Wi-Fi. That's it. The device is now connected. Let's see what we can do in the app. The bowl is empty, so it is showing low water warning. That is good. Then the settings to switch between LED modes, light schedule, adjust brightness, toggles to turn on auto mode and pump cycle, and finally the planting days. Not much. but it has everything we need to manage this hydroponic system 
Coming to the control panel on the system, it has touch buttons to manage everything that I called out in the app. Touch screen shows all the details like time, planting days, temperature, brightness, light schedule, etc. It looks clean and simple. Now comes an interesting feature that is how low and how high we can adjust the lights. The lowest it can go is 1 inch. From here, we can extend it up to 18 and a half inches. That's really good. We can manage lot of plants under 18 inches. Now let's see the functionality such as water circulation, auto refilling, etc. I see some debris in the bowl. I will wash it and bring it back. First, I am connecting the pump that is required for auto refilling. Now I will add water. Alright, I added about 5 liters of water into the bowl. Total capacity of this bowl is 7.5 liters. Main pump that circulates the water is working well. Now I am adding some water into the nutrient reservoir by pretending like this is nutrient solution so that I can test how the auto feeding works. Now let's test the auto refilling functionality. We can turn on auto mode using either app or the control panel. For now I am using app. Here we go. Auto refilling just started. The pump is really loud, but it is working. Water is spilling all over, so I am covering it with my hand. If I place the grow deck, there won't be any spills, but we can see the functionality. So I will keep it like this. Alright. Auto refilling stopped right before it reaches the maximum capacity. That is really good. Now I am taking out some water to see if auto refill kick in at some point. I took out about 1 liter of water. Auto refilling did not kick in yet. So I am taking out some more water. Still no auto refill, so I am taking some more water out. There we go, auto refilling started now. The bowl is empty, but the refill pump is still running. So, we should always make sure the bowl has enough water for auto refill. Alright, it reached the maximum again and the auto refilling stopped. So, it has certain minimum and maximum threshold and auto refilling working accordingly. I just noticed that the nutrients also dispensed. It looks like the nutrients will be dispensed a few minutes after refilling the water. So everything is working as mentioned in the product description and I started liking it from the design and functionality standpoint. But the design is not everything. I really care about the performance. So I will experiment growing different varieties in the system and check the performance. Without the further ado, I will start my first experiment. I would like to mention few things as I am starting this experiment. First thing is the compatibility. Is it compatible with AeroGordon pods? Yes, AeroGordon pods fit perfectly in this system. The second thing is this system comes with 21 sponges. Once I am done with these sponges, I need to buy additional sponges. I bought these off-brand sponges on Amazon. 
these are pretty economical and works pretty well third thing is this system didn't come with pot stickers if the sponges are wet with nutrition water and the light is being passed onto the sponges that encourages the development of algae so i use these off brand stickers to cover the pods these are not perfect but we can manage i don't use stickers for quick and short crops like radish fenugreek and even lettuce but if i grow long crops like peppers i will definitely use the stickers i have links to all these products in the description below the last but not the least thing i want to mention is the price the current price at the time of this recording is 250 dollars is it worth this hydroponic system has so many features but do i really care about all these features i like the built in wifi but should i pay extra for this feature definitely no what about auto refilling the water yes it is definitely a good feature but it depends on how many times i go on vacation and how long my vacation is we can easily manage short vacations up to a week but if we go on long vacations and we really want to save the plants then it is definitely a good feature then what about auto feeding if i can add nutrients directly into the water that i am refilling with why should i need this extra auto feeding feature i think this feature is pretty useless then 21 pots with bigger bowl i definitely like this feature for a few plant varieties then the 36 voltage lights which is very good and well enough for many plant varieties overall it has many good features but not all features are practically useful comparing to many similar hydroponic systems available in the market i think this system is worth anywhere under 250 dollars coming back to my experiment i am growing fenugreek in the first experiment i have grown fenugreek in many hydroponic systems like aero garden i do mafga mars hydro etc and i know how fast it grows in perfect conditions if i can grow fenugreek successfully in this system i can grow lettuce and many herbs successfully so i choose fenugreek let's see how it will turn out i will keep you updated with all the results so please stay tuned that is all for now thanks for watching and happy let pot gardening